Jason, <laughs> uh, you bring Michael for a session? Sam's bringing him later. I wanted to see you. Oh, well, I, I assume you want to talk about his progress, and as I've told you before, I can't discuss... Actually, I want to discuss Sam. Because there's a storm coming. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Let me get that for you. Wow. Dude, there's a lot of food here. It's kind of like you're eating for two. You must be a hungry guy. I couldn't decide between salami or cheese. Or apples or oranges. Why do you ask me so many questions? I do? Well, first it was the thing about who I was talking to in the living room last night and now it's about what I eat. Hey, 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 I'm sorry. I, I don't, I do not mean to pry, okay? I just need you to get ready for Dr. Thomas' appointment and then I'm going to have Max come up and fix that window, okay? Okay. All right. I'm starved. Take all of it. I have to go... Dr. Thomas time? Yeah. So it's this whole therapy thing. I told you how to handle it. Yeah, I know what to do. I'm worried about Sam. Well, so what seems to be the problem? Uh, well, you know, Sam lost a baby not too long ago. She's the strongest woman that I know, but she's fragile too, and I know that helping Michael's a way to deal with the loss of, of her baby, but I just... I just want Sam to be okay. Well, I hope you're not gonna pressure her to, to back off on her involvement in Michael's therapy. Why not? Because Sam's a positive influence to Michael. I mean, she's the one who convinced him to go to therapy in the first place, and through it all, she's been there a uh, constant. A, a break in the rhythm that Michael's found could be a real setback. I wouldn't want to do that, would I? No. Then my advice is to leave things as they are. Gotta go. you find out anything? No, you just want Sam to be involved in Michael's therapy. Nothing to back up the idea that Thomas still has a thing for him? No. What about you? I did another background check. I came across something disturbing. The source claims that Dr. Thomas talks a lot about how you're emotionally incapable of being attached. That Sam's only with you because she has no place else okay, to go. How does this relate to Michael? Exactly. It's like Dr. Thomas has taken an interest in Sam above and beyond Michael's case. Maybe to the point of convincing yourself that she shouldn't be with you. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Am I, am I interrupting anything? We're done here. Um, I'll be in touch. Okay, thanks. Okay. You, uh, you seem worried. Are you, are you okay? I just left Michael with Dr. Thomas, and I know that you have reservations about him. And Jason, I'm starting to think that you might be right. Dr. Thomas is so condescending to everyone else, but me, it's it's like the complete opposite. It's like he's trying to be nice. I mean, he's totally, he's overly nice okay. to me. Okay, what, what do you mean? What do I mean? He's he, it's, it's like he's trying to get me to trust him or or to like him. Jason, I don't know, it just okay. doesn't really Has feel Dr. right. Has Dr. Thomas ever said or done anything inappropriate? What? Hey, how was your session? Well, I think we made excellent progress, don't you, Michael? Yes, it was very great. You ready, great you ready to go home? Yes. I uh, shall see you next time, Dr. Thomas. I look forward to it. Okay. Okay, come on, buddy. The Krentos boy left the pack at the office. Oh, uh, I'll see that he gets it. Mm -hmm. Leaving early? You bet. A hurricane's on his way. Uh, the weatherman says otherwise. And this throbbing finger, like my nana's before me, says that the sky is going to drown any fool who listens to weathermen. Okay. Can I go now? Yeah. Sure. 
what I miss. I think it's the storm. You know, hurricanes do sound kind of cool to kids until they're actually here. Maybe he's a little bit scared. You know, at times like this, I am really glad that I'm not on my salvage boat. Uh, you know, I, I probably don't tell you enough how much um, I respect you. You seem unusually reflective. Yeah, I'm just starting to realize more every day what I have with you. Me too. The hurricane switched direction. It's bearing down on the city right now. If we can ever gonna head outside and fasten down what we can. Great, something else to traumatize Michael. Hey, no, look, we'll just, we'll make it into an adventure. How would we do that? I don't know. I don't know. I'll think of something. The important thing is to make Michael know that he is not alone right now. Jody? How do you go with Dr. Thomas? Great. I did everything. I pretended to be this happy, perfect little kid, and he said we made progress. Great. The sooner they think you're okay, the sooner they'll leave you alone. Shut the window. I hate storms. Sure. I can't get it. Oh, help. Hey, what's all that stuff? <sighs> Camping supplies. Um, candles and flashlights because we're probably gonna lose power and uh, I brought some marshmallows to mm. roast out of the fire. Do you think this is gonna make Michael get in the spirit of things? Well, I think as long as you coach him, he will. You know, um, I'm watching you, how you take care of Michael and it just, just makes me realize how good a mom. You would have been a wonderful parent to our child. I mean, who knows? Maybe someday you are still going to get a chance. I hope so. Me too. What are you doing here? Well, I, I apologize for the interruption, but Michael left his backpack behind in my office. Well, you didn't have to bring it tonight. Well, Harley, I agree, but uh, something fell out of Michael's backpack that concerned me. He wrote a letter to a girl named Jody. Who is that? Jody was a neighbor that Michael made friends with. His parents moved her suddenly, and Michael wrote her a letter and wanted to mail it, and he couldn't find her. Actually, if you want to, I, I think it's kind of cute that they connected. You know, Michael does need friends his own age. Unfortunately, I don't agree. I'm, whoever this girl is, I'm glad she's gone. Why? When did she move? Uh, about a week ago. And precisely when Michael started making improvement. And sometimes outside ties not directly involved in the process can be more of a detriment than a help. Well, uh, again, I'm sorry for the intrusion, and I've got a long drive ahead. Yeah. Uh, good night. Oh, well, you're out of luck. Roads are blocked, and they're turning everyone else back. Might as well make yourself comfortable. Well, won't this be cozy? Dr. Thomas is downstairs. You didn't tell him I was here, did you? Dr. Thomas doesn't even know who you are. You said your mom was making you go to him. Why'd you lie? 